This is Living Power with Dan Hurst. The scourging, the, the fifth uh, prophecy is the scourging and the mocking that Jesus would suffer, prophesied in the Old Testament around 700 to 681 B.C. by Isaiah. And here it is. I gave my back to those who strike and my cheeks to those who pull out the beard. I hid not my face from disgrace and spitting. A prophecy given by Isaiah regarding the coming Messiah. By the way, I want to say something. I want to interject something. This is just parenthetical. You're getting this for free. Um, I've been asked a number of times, what about the Shroud of Turin or Turin or whatever, however they pronounce it? Uh, it you know, do you think that could be Jesus? Man, I, my gut feeling is that it's not. For this reason, this prophecy in Isaiah says that they tore out his beard, and you can see a beard very clearly in the Shroud of Turin. So I suspect that that's not what it is. I don't know. Could be, you know, great artwork. Could be something else. You know, it could have been somebody else that was in the, you know, there were several other people that were raised from the dead when Jesus was raised from the dead. So could have been somebody else for all I know. Uh, so I don't really know, but I know that this prophecy said that they ripped his beard out. And in the Shroud of Turin, there, whoever that was had a beard. So anyway, uh, so there's the prophecy, the scrouge and mocking that Jesus would suffer. And then it's fulfilled in Matthew 27, verses 26 through 30. Then he released for them Barabbas, and having scourged Jesus, delivered him to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the governor's headquarters, and they gathered the whole battalion before him, and they stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him, and twisting together a crown of thorns, they put it on his head. And the word put doesn't mean they gently laid it. It means they forced it onto his head and put a reed into his right hand. And kneeling before him, they mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! And they spit on him and took the reed and struck him on the head. Now, I want you to notice something. Verse 27 says they gathered the whole battalion before him. It wasn't just two or three soldiers. This was several soldiers that were doing this, several of them beating Jesus mercilessly. So there was the scourging and mocking that Jesus would suffer. On behalf of Dan Hurst and the Open Class, we want to thank you for 